how to blur the edge of shapes in Affinity Photo. Now I'm just going to use a very basic shape here, a circle. Of course, you could use loads of other different shapes, star designs, etc. And I've set it to red. Of course, I could set it to any color. Now the key panels here, you can find via View Menu, Studio, and I'm going to go for Layers and Swatches and Styles. So make certain they're available. Once you've done that, just going to go to the Layers panel, just going to go down the bottom and you can see FX. Click that and it brings up a number of options. Go to the Outline. I've got the Blend Mode and I'm going to keep it as normal. Opacity I'm going to keep it at 100%. And I'm going to increase the radius by quite a bit. You can vary it. Just set it. At the moment, it's a solid color, black. And I'm also using outside. You could also, of course, set it to center if you wish. I'm going to go for contour. That's the one I'm going to use. And you get a gradient. Click there, and you can see the gradient. That's black to white. Well, obviously, that's not going to be much good for blurring. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the gradient to blur. So what I want is the colour of the first stop to be red. Actually, I want both the stops to be red. But the key thing here is I want 100% opacity at one end and 0% at the other end. And I've just reversed it just then, just to make it more convenient. So I've got the white. Now, I don't want the white. I want it to be red. So click the white. And then go down to the color. So the position is at zero percent, and the color I want to be the same. So select the most recent. Recent's quite useful. So click there. You can't move the positions of the start and the end. You can put additional stops in the middle. But what you can do, you can change the opacity. I don't want it hundred percent. I want it to be zero percent. So put it to 0%. And as soon as you do that, you can see you've got that blurring effect. Now you can add additional points. Now if you could reverse it, you get the edge around, obviously, with a gap. I don't want that. So I want red all the way through to transparency. And then I can modify the radius and you can see the blurring of the shape. And that will happen with any shape. And again, you can always change it. Click on the gradient and you can see the stops there. Now if you go and use a black shape, or a green shape, you obviously have to go to the gradient and change it to green or black. And there's the design. And you can, of course, modify the radius. You don't have to have the same blurring as I've got there. And it's live. So if you modify the shape, so you move the shape around, it will also change as well. And of course, you can use the No tool once you've converted it to curves. You can do that via the Layer menu and Convert to Curves. And then you can add nodes and you can modify the position of those. Create all kinds of shapes and you've still got your blurred edge. And of course, you can apply this to any design, any shape. And of course, you can also create your own shapes as well. And you can always go down to the FX again and change it. So if you want to change it, another thing you can also do is you can add it to the styles. So you can go over to the right side menu. There's an add style from selection. And it will be saved to the styles panel, which is quite useful because if you go and create another shape, the style is not added. So if you go and create a square or something, you will end up having to select it via the style or just recreate it via the FX. Now, of course, I've got a black shape there and it doesn't look particularly, it's more a glow around the edge. So again, you can click the FX. You can also click right down in the bottom left. There's a scale with object. You might prefer to do that as well. Put that on. Put it reasonable as well. Go and go to that red and change it to black. Now, you've still got 
you notice you've got a red glow now, which looks slightly odd. You think, well, that's strange. The reason being, of course, is that even though it doesn't look black and it, like I say, you can't move anything, the red glow is because that stop right at the far end is still red, even though you can't see it. Go over to it, and when you do that, you can change the colour. Now, of course, I don't want the red, I want black. So click there on the black. Now, with both the stops black, again, what happens, it's a weird thing. It actually puts the opacity back to 100%. I don't know why. That seems to be the default. It doesn't keep it at 0%. Well, it actually on there, it didn't show 0%, but it seems to set it to 100%. I, quirk, maybe. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Personally, it should stay at 0%. You want one end to be 0%, one end to be 100%. And of course, you can vary the midpoint if you wish to modify the blur in there. Now you can close that. And of course, you can still change the radius setting and you can also set the scale if you wish to do that. So you've now got that additional one. And you can add that to your stars panel if you wish. Let's say you can vary the radius. This is slightly confusing because, of course, the path has got a red line around it so it looks like it's got red still but it's not just and you can like say vary it so it's center or outside not much use if you put it for the interior and again what you can do of course with the fx one you can go to right side menu and you can add style from selection the current selection and it's just stored there so you can now convert quickly between red and black might not want to do that, but you can add those. And I've actually created a few early ones as well, you can see there. So I go and select another shape. Donut this time. Could be a triangle, it could be a star, etc. To get the blurring quickly back, you could, of course, do it via the FX. You can quickly just add it via the styles. And you can add another diamond design. Move that out of the way. And create time. And again, it doesn't unfortunately keep with the blurred edge, but you can quickly add it via the styles panel. And of course, you can always add a red style if you wish, or of course, in this case, white or blue as well. And it will keep that edge with that blurry effect. And you can move that around, you can change the various settings for the diamond up to you and you can also change the settings for the donut the key thing is go back to the tools shape tools and then you'll see some various interactive features so you can modify the size the diameter in the part and also you can change it into just an arc and you still got the blurring effect so the blur is still there So you, you can see you can create some nice blur designs very quickly using the FX feature. And then, of course, there's one maybe slightly more extreme using blue that I created earlier in an earlier video. Or white. Now, you can also use this with text or type, depending on how you want to call it. But text, so you can use, just type some text and then use the styles or just go to the FX. Perfectly reasonable as well. And you can continue to still modify it to simply buy that gradient and that obviously that contour setting is the key thing. I'm going to show you quickly the text. I'm just going to quickly create some artistic text. Just type something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or text. Text tool. As always, it always creates it very, very small. Of course, you could uh, set various styles up and those sorts of things if you wish. And I'm going to go for bold. And I'm going to go with Arial as well. But you could use any font. Obviously, don't have to use the one I'm using. And what you can do, you've got some text now. You can go to the styles. Of course, you could also go to FX at the bottom, but you can just go to styles 
and you can then click there. Now you might find it doesn't look like it does anything, even though you think, well, it should. You think, why? What's wrong? Well, the problem is you just need to increase the radius a bit. So the radius that worked well with the shape doesn't seem to work so well with the other one. So just increase the radius a bit more. Make it up to 30 or 40, whatever. And then you can see your type blurred very quickly that way. And again, you could, of course, quickly create a style via the styles panel. And you can still obviously change the text and it will still be blurred. Type tool instead. I hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always add new tutorials about Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.